My neighbor recently got a couple of new small dogs and they can fit through these bars. He's had to put this pallet here to make sure they don't escape. So we're gonna upgrade this gate so that it looks great and can keep the dogs in. I modified my gate to keep my beagle in, so we're gonna be doing my neighbor's gate similar to this one. Since this is an outside gate, I bought these fencing planks uh, out of cedar, so they'll hold up to the elements really well. And I'm gonna cut them to the length that I need. And then I'll do each of the widths uh, according to how much space I have in between each of those bars in the gate. So I've got all the boards cut up, they're looking good. I've left the faces rough, so you can see some of the saw marks from the milling. I think that's gonna look nice because it's gonna add some texture when we have some fun with the weed torch. I borrowed this from my friend Ryan and what I'm gonna do is just burn these just a little bit. I'm not doing shishugi bon or anything like that. This is just an aesthetic to give it a little bit of texture and color with the flames. So hopefully it turns out looking really cool. Let's go have some fun. Board's all burned up real nice. That was a ton of fun. I really liked the way that it looked and thought it was cool. I'm just gonna put boiled linseed oil on here now. Uh, I don't really need a finish since it's cedar, but I'm gonna put one on. It's not a film finish, so I can always come back and put it on later if I want a thicker film finish on there. But I think I'm gonna be pretty happy with the boiled linseed oil. I've done it before and it seems to hold up really nice outside. I'm gonna have three metal bars going on the back side that I screw the slats into on the top, middle, and bottom. So I just need to measure across so that I can weld those in later. One tip, if you have a local steel or metal wholesale place, that's way cheaper than buying the stuff at the big box store. We wanna pre-drill these bars that we cut so that we don't have to do that once it's already attached to the gate. So I'm just gonna slip it in behind the gate and then with this paint marker, I'm gonna mark where each of those slats are and then we can bring it back inside on the drill press and drill them out. I've got my steel bar all marked up. Now what I wanna do is just come in half an inch on each side. I cut a little piece of off cut so I can mark that half inch. Also, I'll scratch a line in the middle and then I can come in with a little punch and put a divot there so that when I drill, my drill brit's not gonna be wandering all around. I'm gonna weld those bars into place. I have my uh, Alpha TIG TIG welder. I'm not sponsoring anything, but I really like this welder. I have a link down in the description for it if you're interested. Works great, but I'm just gonna use the finger switch with the TIG and weld those bars into place. Well, the welding went pretty good. I got the top, middle, and bottom all done. It took me longer than I was expecting, so it's pretty late. I had to bring out some lights. Tomorrow I'll grind it down because a grinder and paint make me the welder I ain't. I finished the welding last night. Now I just wanna to touch those up a little bit with the grinder. I'll spray paint it black and then I'll be done with the metal portion of the gate. I'm really happy with the way the gate turned out. I think that flat black and the charcoal looks really cool. My neighbor seems really happy with it as well. I had a ton of fun making this. If you liked this, a thumbs up would be great. Also hit that subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching and take care. <laughs>